So we're here at CES 2014, and who are you? I'm Skylar St. Ledger. What do you do? Well, I'm here with Intel, and I do a lot of making and tinkering. You do what? Making and tinkering. So where, where do you live? I live in Phoenix, Arizona. So like, uh, what, what, what are you, can you explain, what are you doing here? Why are they coming up? They have all sorts of really cool things here. So if we look over here, you can see these Let's new immersive here. gaming technologies. Sorry. And those include things like these virtual reality goggles. Yeah. Or, and yeah, there's only also, like four. You can also, see a lot of them. And with so. these, it enables you to bring the gaming experience to a the, whole new level of interactivity yeah. Yeah. and yeah. also yeah. immersiveness. I'm going to try this. Over here, we have this 3D augmented reality device. It's called the Z Space. Go ahead. Z Space is. That's this. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. It displays a 3D screen so you can use this stylus here and you can actually, I put on the glasses, I can use this stylus and I can use it to move around and I can actually use gestures too to control it and if you look up here on this screen, you can actually see what I see without having to glasses. Whoa, that's cool. Have you seen this before? Have you seen this before? This is the first time I've seen it. Over here is another Intel demo using some more 3D technology. And so this, and so this is so you're very interactive as you look through. And it uses this Intel gesture recognition technology, so you can actually use your gestures and control things. Gesture stuff? Yeah. Whoa, that's cool. Yeah. Okay, let's go. What are you doing there? What they're doing. What is that? This is the Okay. So over here is the Intel Galileo. It's a low cost. It's a low cost This is the Galileo here. So with it, you can create these really cool internet connected devices because it has all these I.O. pins here as well as a mini PCIe slot and Ethernet and Ethernet connection. What kind of IOs are there? So this is an Ar has the same headers as an Arduino. So you like can, an Arduino? Yeah, so you can use existing Arduino shields and codes with the Intel Galileo. But you can also use mini PCIe so you can put like a Wi-Fi card. So what more does it do compared to an Arduino? So it runs Linux, so you can do a lot of things with Linux. As well it has a USB host port and mini a PC as a USB host port. Cool. So you can plug so you can plug in like a keyboard to it and things what? that could have been here. This is an interactive data device. So what you do is you can program this so that it was. Did you make it? No, I didn't make it. So it will respond to different types of data inputs. So you can say whenever someone sends a tweet to me, it means out the page. You can also have it. Is uh, this an Intel processor in here? Yes, there's the port SOC in the coffee cup. So for it, what you can do is... How long is the battery life here? I don't know. So for it, here's the Intel Edison. It has a port SOC in it and a computer. Every cup should be like this, right? Yeah, it's such a great thing. It means How much does it cost this, you know? I don't know. Intel hasn't announced that yet. Alright, that's cool. And then over some more things with Edison. Oh, there it is. Let's let's check it out. So here is over here. Over here is a Nemo smart baby monitor. A baby? What? Yeah. Smart 
baby model. The smart baby. So what happens is, in, in this, so they use Intel Edison with this turtle thing. And when you snap it in here, this now becomes a smart internet connected device. Because the Edison has built in Bluetooth, low energy, and Wi-Fi. So with this, it will send you an alert to say your coffee cup, if the baby's too warm, too cold, if the baby's starting to wake up. And you can also have it connect with things like this. Here is a, is a, a baby bottle warmer with an Intel Edison inside it. Cool. There's a bunch of laptops here, right? And so, yeah. What's in there? So these are Intel devices, I believe. I'm not in terms of... Is Intel in here? I believe so. In Chinese. Um, so actually, I believe this here is the what new do? tablets. They're using an Applebee's. So Applebee's, they replace their, their paper menus with tablets. So I think you need a card. So what do you, you have do? a credit card? No. no. I wish I did, but I don't. So, can, so the reason Applebee's did this is, it, is they found it reduces the amount of time people spend waiting for their waiters to come take the order. And they can just place their order directly from here. And while you're waiting for your food, you can play games and things on the tablet too. Awesome. Cool. So, yeah. And then, mm. so Let's then, go around. Two. Some Intel what? Two in ones. So what it means is that these are devices that can be both a tablet and a laptop. Let's get up close to them. So in this case, this one, this is the Microsoft Surface Pro 2. Yes. So for it, you can actually remove the keyboard from here and have it turn into a laptop, a tablet. You can also how much it cost? I don't know. So you can remove the keyboard. And now you have a tablet. And there's also a stand too. So if you're watching a video, which has a tablet. Do you have one of those? No, I don't. We didn't give you one? I have a different Windows 8. And what do you have? I have a Samsung one. Samsung. Over here is the Intel's real edge. What's that? So what you can do with it is you can use it to create super massive games. Like this one here. So the way this works is you use your hand to complete the pathway so the gladiators can cross. Use your hand to... This what you do is you can have some other options. Like in this case, you use this pad. Because this is a pathway step. So for it, in the last two, instead of use a keyboard or a mouse. Let's try it. We hover over here to select the next level. And then you can put our hand. And then when the hot light starts coming, you can use our hand like this. And we can actually, we don't end up falling in the lava. So we can do this. And then we can take them. And then we can do this. And we can do it. That's cool. In this case, I lost, but you can use your hand using the Intel real And that, this camera is in the market. I, I don't know that. Sure. Uh, my name is Wenyu. It is in help? the market? Oh, yes. This is the market. You can find it. And also, on top of that, we are working with our OEMs to build it inside. How much you cost this camera? Oh, you can find it on the website. But basically, go to our Amazon or go to Creative, you can find it. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's check out some more. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta ask you about this. Hey, what's no, up? No, 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 no. But we have to continue the video. Oh, okay, all right. Like, gotta, can you tell me about the, this piece? Of yeah, I'll show you. Okay. So, what else is there that's cool here? So, this is about all there is. Here's some more. Here are some more Intel tablets and two in ones here. And this is so. Here are some more two in ones and tablets. So here's a. It's like a. This is a. So this is. We're not showing the tablets per se. We're showing an interactive augmented reality experience out here. If you give me a chance to reset this, I can I can show it for okay, you. Okay, he's gonna reset. We, we'll be back in a second. What else is cool here? So this is actually a demo of the Intel tablet. The Intel what? Of in, so here are some more Intel two in one. So like so here so here's like a tablet. Yes. Here's like something else that's a laptop. Okay. Hey, I live right here. Right. Specifically, I don't have to say. Yeah. 
So let's check what this is. Okay, this is an interactive uh, augmented reality experience. So you see the real frame out here on this object. This is a live camera view, and you have these virtual creatures coming around on this, and it's all in three dimensions. Okay, on this. If I walk, I'll walk to the left a little bit. Okay, so you see. Let's go all the way around. It still tracks. It's a little hard to go all the way around, but I'll, I'll, I'll come around. So that means it knows the 3D area. I'm sorry. Did you take uh, some video pictures before? to teach it the 3D? Um, it knows the 3D structure of this, uh, of this frame object Only of this one. seeing over, over here, that's correct. You can add um, more space? You can, it depends on the... the How do you we, add we more? it for, for this particular uh, object. So what's different on the tracking of this is, is the challenge of this three-dimensional object that you see over here. Tracking so you also add the, the big whale? I'm sorry? Where's the whale? Okay, the whale occurs in the, in the, the spotlight area over there, and the next showing, I think, is, tw is 12.30. So if you come back at 12.30 into into that big spot. We'll, so what, we'll, what we'll parts of look. Intel is it using to make this work? I'm sorry? Which parts of Intel is necessary to make this This is possible? running on a, on a Lenovo uh, Helix Ultrabook with an Intel i7 core on the inside and integrated graphics. So it needs the GPU and the CPU? Well, yeah, I mean, it needs the for rendering and stuff. On the, but what we're really trying to do is suggest augmented reality as a, as a form for, as a new media for storytelling. So these are creatures from the book called Leviathan, where human beings have been able to do genetic engineering, create these kinds of uh, creatures out here. And right now you experience content in, in, by reading books, by doing uh, uh, feature films, by video, video games. What if they, they actually came out into the real world around you? What if you could actually interact with them and explore with them? Kind of like that whale that came out if you saw a keynote uh, presentation last night. They can kill the animals. I'm sorry? We can kill the animals. Well, we hope not to kill them, but you, you can interact with them. You can play with them. So if you want to come up and, and touch, he wants to be grabbed by the tentacle here. So, yeah, you can drag him around. Cool. Right. You can tap him. He'll do other kinds of interactions here. Cool. Um, head bump and other types of stuff. But the main thing is, what are the enabling technologies that you need in order to do this kind of stuff? And then what are the new forms of media in order that this will enable? This is all research. This hasn't been done yet on that. So we're just saying that Intel is interested in exploring this kind of space. Our, our is, is that just an app? It's not just Could it just be an Android app? Um, this is not. This is not. This is a, an experimental uh, a demonstration here. It's not a product. It's not for sale. It's not an app that's out there. But in the, eventually, when you when you figure out the answers to these kinds of questions, you could. Okay. Cool. So, uh, so thanks for the boost tour. It was cool. Do you think that in the future we'll have like holographs and all these animals will actually be real? It's hard to say. There's anything's possible in the future. Twenty years ago, if they saw what we had here, here now, they probably wouldn't believe what they were seeing. What do you think is uh, the coolest thing that's gonna happen in the future? I'm not sure. I'm hoping for. I'm hoping that that computers will just get smaller and lighter and easier to use. So what what kind of tinkering have you done? I play with all sorts of electronics and things like that. Like, uh, have you done some get, some gadgets, some some tricks? And well, I do. So I've done some work with Galileo. I uh, use 3D printing. I I like to to tinker with lots of things. And you still go to school? Yeah. That's cool. All right. So that's cool. Is first CES or what? This is my first time at CES. It's cool, no? Yeah. All right. Have you seen everything? No, and I don't think I will, but I hope to.